evening, everyone. Stand for the pledge. Actually, I didn't put it on the top, but we're going to put the, uh, the chart well issued first, since uh, obviously a number of people came. I can only assume to, to hear what they have to say. And uh, from representing Chartwell is uh, Tom Wynan. And I, I think I'd like to let him uh, address the, the board first, and he can uh, tell us any plans he has with uh, the railroad. And uh, we'll go on to uh, uh, receive questions from, from the board and uh, from the audience when he's done. Go ahead, Tom. Do you want me to address the board? Yes, please. <clears throat> okay. Well, thank you for uh, letting me come today. Do I need this? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> um, in any event, um, uh, John Rosano asked me to come in tonight to explain to you a little about uh, what our hopes and goals for the railroad are. And um, what I did, and I apologize to everybody, I didn't make enough copies. Uh, I made 25, and that obviously was uh, a little short. But anyway, I put together some basic uh, question and answers right here, and I can. I can get a copy, I have it in PDF format in, uh, on my computer, so I can get that to anybody who's interested. If we can maybe do a sign-in sheet or something like that, and if you could get me a copy of those who are interested, I'll email it out. What it basically does, just go over some of the questions, which really are, in my opinion, um, uh, kind of misinformation that's gone out. Um, and just to, to back up about what had occurred and uh, my involvement uh, to date, um, you know, Chartwell purchased a company, you know, the Middletown, New Jersey Railroad. That railroad's been here 140 years. It's been a good, uh, you know, asset to the community. Um, it had a couple of people who uh, came with a company called E-Rail. Uh, they were purchased, and they had some plans to do waste by rail. And that's all true. I think it's been well documented. Everybody understands that. Uh, those gentlemen, that, that's what's in this uh, question and answer thing. There's some articles in here from the Times Herald Record, <clears throat> and it explains what happened to those people. So kind of going down the list, do we plan to do any waste? The answer is no. We don't have any intentions, plans to do any waste on our rail line. Uh, why not? Why are we going to do it if that was the plan? Well, the plan came with certain individuals. A copy of the article um, from back in April of last year where uh, the Times Herald Record explained that uh, those people were let go, so um, when they left, the plan left. We did, I, I, I understand the waste by rail business pretty well. I've been in it for about 10 years. Chartwell hired me to do that type of work, but when it came to the railroad, they wanted to see if it made any sense whatsoever. And I can tell you, with 10 years of experience in that business, it never made any sense. I explained to them, I explained to the board that it was a, it was a bad deal. You shouldn't pursue it, it doesn't make any sense. And they said, well, what does make sense for the railroad? And I said, well, you know, it's been there 140 years. It's in Orange County, which is growing tremendously. Uh, it's got highway access, rail access, and there's a lot of properties in the area. It seems like something, it's never going to be huge. It's always going to be a short line that can serve the community. And right now we have one customer. We have GenPak. And, you know, they don't, they're not enough to really feed the railroad. We have two employees. But if we didn't serve GenPak, that one customer that we have, they wouldn't be in this community. They have 194 jobs and taxes that they uh, generate for the community. So the, the point of what the railroad could be and what our game plan has become is to have us be a catalyst for economic development. And that's what we should be. And that's what we always should have been. So the plan for Chartwell with the m and J is to let it grow you know, have an impact on bringing in good customers, good industrial users, and, you know, uh, try and provide jobs to community. And if we do that, we do that very, very well. If we bring in three or four good customers who are rail-based, take trucks off the road, provide 150, 200 jobs per facility. And this is, you know, very uh, optimistic thinking that this is going to happen in any short time frame. But let's say we did do that. Our railroad would be maybe a, you know, a, an employer of seven or eight or ten people 
and the community would have another thousand jobs. And so that's kind of my message here tonight, is I hope that we can get beyond the trash train. The trash train is dead. There's no way that we're going to be doing any waste along our rail line anywhere. Um, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to try and bring it in. We've agreed with Middletown to not do a uh, preempted facility, to a transfer station. We have no intentions of doing that. Um, what we want to do is work with you, work with Middletown. We've already, you know, worked an agreement with Middletown, and we'd asked Wei Wei on to, to hold off until we got that done, because we didn't want to have to negotiate two separate ones when we didn't know how the first one was going to end up, and there was a lot of very tricky issues in it. So um, uh, we needed to get one done and then move forward. Since we hadn't operated in Wei Wei Onda uh, for six years, we figured. There's no threat there. Let's let's focus on the immediate threat or the perceived threat and try and put that behind.